Have a safe and pleasant stay. You want to be on top, gonna need the skills. Come back, you might learn something.
Okay, let's get out of here. I'm sick of excuses. I'll feed all your worthless slugs to a rancor if I have to. You hear what? Hey, excuse me? Hey, nobody just walks in here, huh? Nobody. I'm a bounty hunter, hunting the Eidolon. Interested? The Eidolon? What? You're kidding me, right? No. C tell me you're kidding. You're, you're not kidding. All right, I'll bite. Boys, hey, get out of here. Get us some refreshments. The Eidolon did some work for us, you know. He could kill anybody, anywhere. This guy was unbelievable. Killing folks ain't that hard. Anyone could kill a gank on the street. But the Eidolon specialized in impossible targets. But then, at the top of his game, the Eidolon announces he's getting out of the assassination business. Opened a security company. Suddenly, half the corporations here were clients of Eidolon security, and were no longer paying the hunt cartel. Hey, Gellerin, I haven't finished slicing those casino lugjack machines. But I thought that... Anuli? That's Mako! Everyone said she was dead! The Rodian brothers grabbed her! Someone saved me from those antenna heads, Anuli. A good friend. He took me away to Huda. Aha! Time to exploit a weak point here. You two know each other? Anuli and I grew up together on the streets. He's like my little brother. Can we get back to business? Yes? Look, nobody knows how to find the Eidolon, but if you hurt his company, he'll find you. I've seen it before. The Eidolon's biggest client is the Republic. Eidolon security supplies those gangs with billions of credits worth of munitions every year. That's a potentially dangerous client he has. Ain't that the truth? Self-righteous pains in the rear? Eidolon Security's got a stockpile of munitions bound for the Republic Army. Crates are at their manufacturing facility in the Karelian Sector. If that facility were to blow up, the Eidolon would owe the Republic billions of credits, which I'm guessing, hey, he ain't got just lying around. Can't use thermal detonators. Too small. Need beradium charges, like the ones Brel made. Before he blew up. Hang on, hang on. Wait, hey, you're hearing that out of context. Rel <laughs> blew himself up because he got cocky. These beradium charges are perfectly safe. You got my word. I've seen how much that's worth. Hey, that hurts. What would I gain if you blew yourself up? Huh? I need you, buddy. The charges are magnetic. You gotta put them on the power generators for maximum yield. One in the control center, too. A facility that size will have several generators. It's pretty standard. They'll be easy to spot. The charges are on a synchronized timer. Now, after you planted the last one in the control room, set the timer, then get out of there. Okay. We'll do. I don't even remember who's my target in this fucking place. That must be sad.
Cuenca, please select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. There you go after thinking I've completed everything here that you sent me back. Amazing. It's not funny.
my mind to it.
Stop. I've been watching you on the surveillance monitors. I know what you're doing. You've got to stop. Please. There are dozens of civilian technicians and engineers working here. If you blow up this facility, they'll all be killed. You've confused me with someone who cares. Please. I don't care what you do to the facility. Just give me time to evacuate my people. I only need a few minutes to round up my crew and get them out of here. Do what you will afterwards. That's the price of working for an assassin. You... animal. I don't really like killing people. I think I'd true say this would prefer prolonged pain. But I've been burned twice already by the game when I tried the subtle approach. That's why I like the new Dragon Age 3 dialogue system where they spell out more or less the concrete consequences of your paraphrased dialogue options. certainly better even if it takes some of the mystery out of the choices welcome please select an available travel route have a safe and pleasant stay but it is a big enough problem that Bioware acknowledged and in Dragon Age 2 particularly, it was a big issue. Even with the faces or the symbols. Uh, that, that conveys how you are going to express yourself, but not what you are going to say exactly. So what happens if you want to, you want to be firm and aggressive but in support of one person and not the other and the game actually does it in reverse then your RP appears to be completely inconsistent Those are the problems. Ok, 
I have four messages, let's read them. Money, okay. Balmora! That's a good motto. property will rain down on the streets for days. I could already hear his holo conversation with the Republic. With those are billions of credits going up in smoke? <laughs> we'll bleed them dry. And savor every frag and drop. Ha! I love this business. I got some discretionary funds from the cartel to deal with these sorts of problems. I think you've earned more than a few. The hunters gotta know. Galloran should talk about it. Mako said it was important. She said so. Wait, what did you find, Anui? Oh, for the love of Frank and credits, we're discussing business here. Strange weapon orders. Armor plating, blaster cannons, defense shields. Shipped to an abandoned warehouse in the Dural sector? Makes no sense. Armor plating. Hang on, that sounds really familiar. Let me check something. Talk to me, Mako. I asked Anuli to help me watch for possible bounty hunter rivals and to look out for anything weird. And this is, even for Nar Shada. Nobody ships expensive hardware to empty buildings. Or if they do, they hide it better. Here it is, the Zargnor clan. I knew those weapon parts sounded familiar. A clan of Ugnaughts got into the Great Hunt by building a bizarre war droid that they would ride inside of. The thing's blaster cannons blew up during the Grand Melee. Everyone was killed except the Ugnaughts inside the armored droid, making them the winners. <laughs> Are those Ugnaughts the little dudes with hair, face hair? I think they are. The ones that appear in episode 5. Please say this is a joke. Hey, as possible rival bounty hunters go, these might not be too bad. Assuming they haven't finished their new war droid. But it'd probably be a good idea to get them before they finish. Where are they again? The warehouse they ship the parts to is in a really sketchy part of town. It'll be tough to get to. Look, hey, I don't know what this is about, and I don't think I want to know. Take care of your personal business. When you get back, we'll chat more about the Eidolon. Confront the Ugnots. Piece of shit, piece of shit. Amazing level twenty one. Thank you. 
promenade. Jesus! Select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. The Dura sector, huh? Holy shit, what was that? 